Darshakam 98, The Meaning in English The Infinite Absolute This world is established in you, evolved from you and is retracted into you finally. You manifest yourself as the entire world but transcend it. Your dazzling light illuminates all. You are far beyond the reach of words and mind. Your true form is not comprehended even by gods and sages and what is to be said of others. My salutation to that great Krishna. O abode of spiritual freedom, one brimming with bliss, you have in reality no birth, no action obligatory to be performed, no attributes of quality or blemish, but for the sake of beings of the world, take on these of your own volition by the play of Maya. Through your powers, you assume varied forms, though you are formless. You are miraculous indeed. My salutation to that great Vishnu. You are described by scholars as neither human nor non-human, neither divine nor demoniac, neither feminine nor masculine, and neither existing nor non-existing, and as not possessing a mass, function, class, or attribute. Whatever is remaining after such exclusions and attempted to be explained by the Upanishads by the way of implied inferences, that form of dazzling brilliance of absolute blissful awareness is what truly you are and my salutation to that great being. You appear as a reflective image in the Maya and project this creation with Mahat, Ego, Tanmantras, elements and sense organ as dreams project objects. You with your power as time aspect retract into yourself this creation as a tortoise withdraws into its shell, its body. Then when all these does not exist except darkness, you shine there solitarily with your effulgence. My salutation to that great being. O oh God, you are of everything and all forms and consequently visualized in any form. Scholars describe you as Shabda Brahma, the primeval sound or the sound of origin of creation, karma, atom and time and being the cause of all creation. You are the supreme truth who is described in the Vedas and Vedangas as Purusha, the spirit inside, Param, the supreme, Chit, pristine pure consciousness and Atma, the soul. That supreme truth by a mere glance generates the root cause, Prakriti, manifesting in various forms in the universe. My salutation to that great Krishna. Avidya, ignorance, is difficult to be predicted as existing or non-existing or in combination of the two states like the impression of a snake on a rope and this manifests this world of objects of illusory perception. But when it is graced by you and supplemented a little by scriptural texts, it becomes vidya, knowledge, when it transforms itself into an axe capable of hacking down the forest of samsara or worldly life. My salutations to that great being. When the true and intrinsic nature of all is realized, your non-dualistic form shines forth as underlying the manifested world, even as one can see the gold as underlying material in ornaments and the clay as underlying material of pots. But when knowledge is obtained, this becomes more explicit and all the illusion of a snake for an old rope vanishes and things become clear as in the case of a person dreaming loses that dream world on awakening. My salutations to you of such form, O Krishna. The sun shines, the fire burns, the wind blows due to the fear they have of you and so do Brahma and the other deities perform their assigned duties all as their tribute to you in worship. You install them at the beginning and afterwards, later remove them also. O Krishna, we salute you who regulates and controls the entire universe. You manifest yourself in the three worlds with the aid of the gunas. You are the one basis, Om, of the three letters. You are the one being manifesting as three deities, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Your character has only been sung in the three Vedas, Rig, Yajur and Sama. You are the pure consciousness which is aware of the three states, wakefulness, dream and sleep. You manifest yourself in the three yugas, Treta, Dwapara and Kali. You measured the world in three strides. You are unchanged in the past, present and future. I worship you in the three paths of karma, jnana and bhakti. There shines your being, true, pure, ever awake, ever free from all desires, beyond the pairs of opposites, immutable, the basis of all collection of qualities, 
without causation, free from blemish, relishing limitless greatness, the incomparable quintessential light of supreme bliss in which detached sages are immersed. O Vishnu, Lord of Guruvayur, none can resist the wheel of time of yours with the twelve months as its spokes and the three hundred and sixty-five days as its cogs rotating fast and dragging along with it the world in its run every second. Let it not oppress me who has taken resort at your feet. O ocean of mercy, kindly save me from the misery of all my ailments. Thank you.